Sorry, thank you. Can we lend you some about seven billion to keep you busy? <laughs> thank you, Mr. Oh, Mr. Cash, seriously, you know, these people here in Ontario are complaining about being bored. How can you be bored? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you lot are too good place near Lake Hori and everything else. You live in the heavens, so they get bored. Too much beauty has altered your, what do you call it, feelings. You got nothing to do. You live in the most beautiful part of the world, so you get bored. And the government pays you too, so you don't have to work. What do you want? It's a cushy life living in Canada. Oh, they pay, but not very much, Mr. Cash. My pension money. <laughs> not, yes, I'm glad I have a pension. But it is an e eking out in existence. So, yes. Oh, I'm, I thought the Canadian government paid everybody well with Corona. No, only some people, but not everybody. Oh. The seniors didn't get any increase, not at all. So it's like, oh, okay. Oh, it sounded very good. It sounds like for everyone. Yeah, it does. But, but don't forget, it's not a, it's not a Corona dividend. It's um, what do you call it, Bill Gates dividend. Yeah. Yeah. He's paying. He's paying part of the shares of his income back to be paid by certain countries. It's uh, it's very amazing. We we done an analysis very past more or less twenty four hours. Amazing enough, all the prime ministers get it, and all the prime ministers when they agree to let um, what you call um, injections to be allowed in their country, suddenly they get better. Something which we start seeing a pattern in corruption, and it's very interesting. We open it up very soon. Somehow, even the Canadian Prime Minister and his wife had it, and then everything turned up. It seems it has become a pattern. They're taking world leaders to ransom. Mr. Kesh, I have some interesting news for you. Uh the uh, leader of one of the opposition parties uh, made a startling statement. Uh, she said, uh, the coronavirus has a blessing to us. And uh, people were outraged by it. But uh, I, I know what her politics are and I know what she's referring to, uh, you know, with respect to the health community and the vaccines and all that. But uh, it was funny that the outrage came because she was saying that you know, in Alberta, the oil business is having trouble, the beef business is having trouble, and the virus is out of control, and they're talking about opening up. So uh, she was under the gun yeah, but, saying that but, it was a good thing. But you said the same thing, but because it's bringing us to the realization that we have to change our ways. There is a very, uh, very damaging report um, coming out or has come out this summer in public, you can get hold of it. The opening of the cities is going to increase the corona, has increased the corona. And what we have seen is a new phase of corona, where they said when it comes to spring, summer, um, now with the heat which is advancing in more near the equator, Corona has shown a massive phase in past three, four days. As the summer heat in some cases already started, we have hospitals that even are short of space and putting two corona patients on one bed. You can imagine. German report says since the open up softened the position, numbers has increased. It's got to the point, we go till somebody drops out, okay, it dropped, well, let's see where we're going to get to. So, um, there is something um, hidden behind it, and there seems to be, we, we've taken a position, as, of, as a lot of you know, um, <coughs> in the next few days, finally, we managed to get this scientific paper signed by some of the leading scientists in Iran to be released about Corona. But it has a lot of facets, there's a lot of things happening behind it. And originally, we were supposed to release this three weeks ago, four weeks ago. But with what happened, you saw 
in cases of uh, the lady who came deliberately into the Iranian structure to destroy and we got rid of her. Actually, she found out before we catch her, she left. Um, Mrs. Mohammed, if you remember, we gave a lot of room to it. And then the, um, the whole situation is taking a very drastic positive move. Uh, papers for publication was signed this afternoon. Um, so it takes a three, four days to finalize the part of it, and maybe by early, late this week, early next week, you will see for the first time, Keshe Foundation will publish a scientific paper, which is signed by some seven, eight leading doctors, scientists, research centers, recognized research centers in the world. So this puts an end to all the saga with Belgium. On the other hand, um, what you will see, massive new technology, which we have developed, all the machinery are, uh, what you call it, completed in Iran now, that will come out. In a way, we go very aggressive in respect to what it is. I, I requested, and I'm sure it's going to be granted, and I partially last week, um, I explained, or I announced it, and now we're getting the back of, of the Iranian leadership, even I told how many yesterday in a public talk, made it very clear that the Keshe Foundation line of thought and uh, promoting peace through technology has been accepted by the leadership. We, you will hear it, I can, if you understand uh, politic and diplomatic language, in a Friday prayer on, on Friday, I don't know how many, said even sometimes we have to sacrifice things to achieve peace, and we are in that track. Um, Maitala Rouhani, the Iranian president, has made a direct move in respect to Keshe Foundation in a very positive way. Those are who are close to us know in past week, and situation has changed. So, this ambiguity about Keshe Foundation has come to an end, total end. We are furnished with um, everything an organization like us needs, and so we'll bring some sanity. The sanity comes in the way that um, we don't need any vaccination. We have shown scientifically we have shown um, systematically uh, through research and development in past eight weeks and 100,000, 200,000 plus people who have used the technology in Iran and that the technology is correct as a system to overcome viruses. And in so many ways we will see <laughs> and um, you will see massive move. What we were waiting for, we have received sanction by the Iranian leadership. And um, as you will see, it will change. And our motto is not fighting. Um, Tehran main airport within next week, two weeks, I have requested to be reopened and seems to be positive because you will see it will be one of the first international airports which will open to public for transportation. And at the same time, what we say in Tehran is very simple. You have a corona, you're dying, flying in plane load of all of you, we'll take you. We are emptying hospitals. We are emptying hospitals to receive people. And emptying, not in the way of emptying and putting people out. We are emptying in a way we are sending patients home. <laughs> If you <coughs> heard about 
the way the Chinese cleaned up Wuhan city, um, we have emptied the city, 50,000 plus, and now is over five weeks, we have had no death, we have no corona patients, and there is no corona in the city. Nothing at all. We haven't lost any doctors. Emergency, to my last call with the doctor, we had one cancer and one heart attack, or something in that region, in the emergency. As the doctor said, it seems the Keshe Foundation has cured a lot of diseases in town at the same time too, because they have washed the city with guns. The doctor paid himself to make ganses for the city. He's the head of emergency. And we have shown it, it can be done. And uh, I set up a strategy, how we're going to do it. I've received the full backing of the government. We set up the strategy, our team decides on how to do it. And <coughs> now we have two weeks, three weeks to actually bring it mechanically in a position to be done. The first uh, units to mass produce cancers at each hospital, physically, will park outside the hospital. Um, it was finished today, it's beautiful, it carries the Iranian flag as a wave, and carries the four emblems of the Keshe Foundation, Keshe Foundation Iran, Keshe Foundation as an institute, a spaceship institute, and KFSSI logo, lit like a half a meter each on each side of the truck. The Iranian government has taken a step this morning to release the video which was released some years ago about the Keshe Foundation and capture of the drone as an official announcement of the Keshe Foundation in Iran. It's been translated and at the moment it's played everywhere. The officials wanted it, they gave it to Keshe Foundation now officials in Tehran this morning, and they said we want this to circulate, and we already authorized it to be circulated in the media. So, a lot of things going to change, and I think, um, we're not going to fight, we are showing a solution, and in so many ways, um, sanity has taken over, insanity. Um, uh, final documents for release of the scientific paper signed by the leading research people in Iran. And one of the foreign, uh, two of the foreign scientific journals already are testing to confirm the results published within the next two weeks in international journals, very well known, uh, to be released. So, our situation has changed in a way Corona has been good for us, but um, the situation is, these people started idiotic belief that they're going to control the humanity. Then they started idiotic belief that um, Bill Gates' understanding that we do what we like, when you look at it, it's not just Corona is involved. He has cornered the whole of Earth, world healthcare, and he's brought his own cronies, bribery, deception, and everything else with it. We're not fighting it, fighting it takes too long. We are releasing, case by case, you will hear. Um, we will clean up all the hospitals in Tehran in the next two weeks. This is the plan, but we are very open how we're going to do it, and how it's going to be arranged, achieved. And we go city by city, in a way that does not matter what they throw, and the new technology, new technology handles all viruses. And this is the beauty of it. But we have to find out in a simple way how to do it. Um, in understanding it, it means we all need a new kit in the house. We make it ourselves, or we get it made, or like what we are doing in Iran, it will be a corner a stand against, you get the pain, you know what to do, and that's it. Um, they, the plan has more or less um, backfired on them, because, okay, we are going back, a lot of people are doing it, 
we see this takes between one to three years to do the cleanup. It's not going to be over a year, over maybe a year late. Um, it is, it needs to be so much that we corner this beast. And um, the strangest thing is, uh, when you listen and looked at the press conference by the Blondie a few days ago. Uh, he sits in the room with all his cronies. Thank you, sir, your golden key, your God. And uh, they've all been injected and, well, what do we call it, boosted, and still they're getting cronies in the White House. That was a shameful conference, as somebody said. Aren't they ashamed to do this to themselves? So, we're going a different way. New tools need to be introduced, new ways of living needs to be introduced, but what I see, humanity will go back to normal as it was. And um, a lot of things will change, but uh, what we see life losses is still carry on. It's not going to reduce. But um, how the governments will take it, how they will bring it out and develop it, or nationals take over the governments, and through direct teachings, it seems to be one of the choices. Um, we, we, as we said, Keshe Foundation in Iran, is even as we speak, High-level meetings are taking place two or three o'clock in the morning in Tehran. Uh, I'm sitting on the other side of the conference, and decisions are made. And it's it's beautiful to see it. The, it needs one by one, and it needs to be done by the people. And uh, once you start doing this, uh, pharmaceuticals will collapse very soon. All these plan for vaccination will collapse. People don't need to be vaccinated. Um, we have received documentation today that allows us to do intravenous injection. And we're taking it up, which means with these licenses which can get produced, we can literally for the first time openly go for um, change of the what we call Corona in the blood within 30 minutes. We have data, we can do it intravenously, but it has to be done in a specific, specific way. It's not open to public, we keep it that way. And um, what we have asked now, like uh, uh, critical cases, that's day or two days that the doctors know could be the end, we can, in, we can come in and do it. This, uh, uh, we received the documentation of uh, clearing on the animal uh, this morning. It's animal tested, so uh, next is a human, and because we have the certification done again, okay, it's, it's in the notification foundation, the test, so um, we, we paid for it. It took nearly six months to complete it, and it was completed, and we received certification this morning. So, we can go to the next step, animal trial is completed, we had to do this because what we saw in Japan and what happened in, what do you call, in, in the animal test there, now we did the test in a, with the reputable organizations and tests are going on. People, scientists are working over time, even now. There are tests going on in laboratories. Scientists decided it's two or three o'clock in the morning, they are staying behind. And we have opened some highly, what we call, confidential, secret uh, researches, which is done for the Keshe Foundation, in the name of the Keshe Foundation, to certain governments. They were shocked to carry such a detailed, confidential information. We spend a lot of money. Cash Foundation spends all, every cent in, in the right way. And I have spent nearly millions of dollars in research and development in hiding. Uh, 
And now, when the governments ask, this is for the press of the button. I've opened two secret, very highly confidential research done independently for Keshe Foundation that changes the course to scientists in past week, which allows a lot of things to happen. Be invested. People know I go and ask people, can we have this one? Can we have that one? Can you help? Because I spend it. I spend it heavily on research. I don't spend any penny. Whatever comes with foundation, if it means it's foundation stuff, software or whatever, we carry on. Because I could see this coming up and I invested heavy. I have invested millions of cash foundation in the past three, four years in hidden research. Because I knew it will come handy, and now it's come. And to be the press of button, signed by most reputable organizations around the world. I haven't gone to Mickey Mouse organizations, can you do a test? When we submit a paper, it's signed by companies which will accept it. And, uh, in past week, it has brought a lot of pleasure knowing what we put away to be has saved a lot, and you're going to save a lot of lives and work for us. When yesterday, one of the leading laboratories in Corona wanted one certificate that they could go, I got a guarantee from them in writing, I released the massive research document to them. And they said, there is no need, it's completed, you already done all the work. It takes us three years to do this. We have invested wisely. Every penny has been invested wisely. And now we see it. We are not going to fight Corona. I'll give you one thing. If Corona handled through the Keshe Foundation technology, the way we understand it, it has different procedures for different applications, and it has to be done. We will not lose a single life. I just, people don't understand what we did in revolution in Iran. I can just put, I just showed it to Caroline a few minutes ago. Because I sit on the, all the chat room, all 30 or 20, 30 or chat rooms of the Keshe Foundation with Corona, and I advise, when they come to me directly, I advise what to do. I just received a, a picture. Two little boys, one three, one about six, sitting on the grass. And the father said, Mr. Keshe, 50 days ago they had no father, they told me I'm dead, and today I'm with my children, thank you very much. He had a severe, kind of what they call Corona, to nearly totally white, And it's gone public with it. And we have invested wisely. Uh, you don't fight. Don't worry what your governments and officials say. Cash Foundation, the Iranian Cash Foundation, the team there, with the support of the Iranian government, we're not going to claim anything. We just come very strongly next year, six months, and we show it. And uh, the decision with the Iranian leadership is it's a cash. Let's clean this country first, before we go out. They suffered enough for years in the hands of the outside. So, in next week, two weeks, maybe, from next couple of days, because the first unit is going to be done, tested. You will see Iranian hospitals reporting totally empty of patients. Um, the decision of the Iranian leadership was, we put them in the mosques, and I said, no, we put them in the hospital. And I set my case, and the case is accepted. Because in the mosque, we don't know who has, who doesn't. In the hospitals, we know there are sick people dying, and the families come and go. So we are literally cleaning the hospital from inside, and we're cleaning outside the hospital, and the people who come and go, who are in touch with these people, the doctors, the, the families. So. We, we set a job, and I think 
uh, what I call Universal Council members and you who work with us in the next couple of weeks, you take the same approach with your government. Um, that we start from the hospitals. We locate, we, we, have, we have a plan to export about 10,000 of these units as fast as possible. The Iranian army and military have got involved with how to produce as much as possible. We inspected the factory yesterday with our team, fully automized. We can produce maybe up to 10 to 20 a day. And um, we cover Tehran, um, key positions, strategic positions, which is hospitals. We want to show hospitals when can be cleaned up and the units produce hundreds of thousands of gallons in Tehran together. We then we change the environment. These people have drastically calculated the next step, the next step. And we will introduce new bits slowly. You saw we introduced the CO2 kit. There is a reason behind this. We should introduce the environmental rotating balls and everything else, you'll see new setup of um, GANS cups coming out as a package. And a lot of things are happening because now we don't do it on our own. We do it with the government, massive government, with unlimited finances to see the new technology. And the structure set up has, they even started a propaganda in Iran regarding the Keshe Foundation this morning. The leadership has released outside video which was published about a few years ago. And that speaks about the Keshe Foundation and how drone is captured. Now, officially, Iranian governments have asked and put it in circulation this morning. And it's been transcribed to Farsi to show the technology. And well, well, don't worry. You see about the corona, you see about some people dying. Uh, we'll see some changes, but um, we have started it very strong in Iran. The biggest problem was to overcome the lies, the cheats and deception of the Belgians. And we'll handle that in due course, we don't waste on it. Uh, the head of the Keshe Foundation uh, spoke to me about a week, two weeks ago, he said, Mr. Keshe, I request you not to speak about Red Circle, anymore, or extend anything, we don't need to waste energy on it. Build it positive, we go that way. And I said, okay, we go that way. We paid the tribute to him, and we left it. And that's what we're going to do. <coughs> we, we go positive with everything. And I'm sorry, some of you might see some harshnesses, you might see some changes, you might see some uh, corona is still hanging around, but uh, it takes time. But uh, uh, we we started, and the uh, Iranian leadership had a very clear idea: we have to wipe out the all the stigma that this criminals in Europe and Belgium started. So we went through that correctly. The Iranian scientist team, he said, we got to do it to show this is all lies, but at the same time, we show what we've done inside the country. We don't care whether the smallest country in the world says, Iran has always had a problem with this, this, what do you call it, this country. Even they try to stick themselves to Iran to do more damage, but now we go a different way. In the, the documents for it was signed finally today, it's going to be published, and next step for it is we report from Iran. This is the step we've taken. You can fight whatever you like, um, let Bill Gates do whatever he likes. Outside Iran, we clean up Iran, we make an example of Iran in hospitals, step by step. As we clean up Tehran, these machines has to be made, to be placed. We go to the next city, and to the next city, and to the next city. We clean up Iran. And if we can clean up Iran, we know that's no corona. We are targeting end of June, complete clean. In Tehran, 
and within the state of what we call district of Tehran, and maybe two or three more cities. And we are now around about the beginning of what come May. By the time the machinery and systems are put in position, it will be around about maybe before end of May. And we need three to four weeks to clean up. And we clean up hospital by hospital. We are not coming to say we are done, or we have found the solution, no. We have found the solution for Iran, and we clean up Iran, and let the governments and countries from outside to come and say how and what, and at no cost. And, um, we are listened to, and then you can take over your government. We have kept the city without any death in the center, where they're losing one or two people a day. And it's been checked by WHO, but we don't let them in, they know the data. They're watching the city very closely, and as a friend of mine said, Bill Gates is pulling his hair up. And it costs less than one cent to save the life of the citizens of one city with this thing. One cent. When we looked at the total cost compared to the city ratio, it's one cent. It takes one American cent to save one life in one city. And we had no. We had no deaths. We have lost a single doctor, we have lost a single nurse. And now, for the Iranian hospitals, even today, one of the major hospitals, initially, we saved a life. And from there, the nurses learned, and they put the, they don't put their nurses anymore in quarantine to die or whatever. They use in the hospital. The nurses said, doctors don't allow us to do it. We say for ourselves. And all the nurses cover themselves with the technology. We supplied a heavy amount of material to them. They learned how to make it themselves. And nurses are walking around the board with uh, oh, no problem. And four of them were supposed to die. Two doctors were supposed to die in this new hospital. They're all back on duty. And they're learning. So, don't worry about Bill Gates to, to us, it's a written off job, but instead of going and shouting, this we done, we still inform that everybody knows, but um, we haven't started the clean up, we clean Tehran first, we clean Iran next, and uh, um, then we make an example of it. The world leaders can come in, or Dollar seekers, you'd start taking the step with your nationals. We don't fight it. Let them, let them kill themselves. You got to understand what this is going to do if it goes through the way, all the way. All the investments done to control viruses and population and scare people become useless. Absolutely useless. Bill Gates will lose everything he has, plus the criminal cases which is going against him. Apparently, there is half a million petition in the White House for his arrest and looking into what he's done. There are other people pushing it this way, and it just takes one time to turn and it'll go. But with it, all the ones who backed him will go too because the investments will go. Pharmaceuticals will would not exist the way we see it. Virus business, which was coming big because he made it, will go with it. But then um, he he made a very clever move coming out of Microsoft that Microsoft doesn't get damaged, but Microsoft have financed a lot of vaccinations while he was there. So Microsoft becomes an international owned company for criminal activities. He thought he escaped, but he hasn't escaped from it. Microsoft, while he was in the office, has made criminal moves. So, 
so he tells you jump, but he won't let you. With it, the Rothschild group have got their fingers in the pie, they're gonna go with it. Because this was a coup d'etat against the world, and now it's backfired. And uh, the rest has to be decided by world leaders who cannot be there because they took their ransom. A lot of their position is unattainable. If you heard me in Iranian teaching or in public teachings, I said Mr. Rohani's position as Iranian leader is unattainable, especially as one secretary. And one of the first moves he made, he made was to approach governments who connected to us trying to ratify the position. <laughs> but uh, we have to do a case, complete a case. And as I said, I requested today the discussion in Tehran as we speak. We open at Khomeini's airport in Tehran as a first international airport open to Corona patients. Which means inbound, they allow you to come. You can come with the pleasure. City, country will be free of what we call Corona, hopefully in the next few weeks, and then he can go back. We are sterilized aircrafts to go back. And as I said, we're going to do it now. We are going to do it, it's started moving. We'll see where we go. Just watch, follow, keep everything ready. But when the governments come to us, it's Iranian government, Conjunction with Keshe Foundation, and you are the Keshe Foundation in your cities and countries. I come to you to take the banner up and carry on. But we have to save those who suffered more, and they have it there for this time for them to move on. And uh, we made the decision Tehran is going to be the first city to be cleaned up totally. We'll, we'll do the same thing that we've done in the other village or a city of 50,000. And then uh, we go to the next one. But in the round, we'll go hospital by hospital. We empty the hospitals, then the environment around the hospitals. Then the city of Tehran, which gets to 24 million people during the day and about 18 million at night. It's a huge city, the size of some of the countries, one city. And we clean up this and watch this place. And we make sure governments know what we are doing. This is starting, nobody can stop it anymore. And uh, code for medical practice for it will be issued in the next few days, called for its use um, internally in Iran, has already been signed today. So, we can talk as much as you like what he's doing, we watch, we do, as we have to do as an international organization, but now we have started with a small town, thousand. Now we move to the city of Tehran. You will see it. When the vehicles park outside, day and night, the, the four emblems of Iran, Keshe Foundation, FSSI, Space Union Institute, is lit on the side of the wagons. And it will be pride and joy to, to see these outside every single hospital. And don't forget, I know many of these hospitals uh, originally have not changed much. It's where I used to play when I was a child with my father. And when I tell them, I know that hospital, I wanted to be there first. They said, Mr. Gash, how do you know? I said, I've been to all of them because as they were getting opened up and set up, 
by my father as a head of the Phillips to be handed over. I was there as a boy. He was proud to show his son what he's done. And they're amazed how much I know about the infrastructure of the medical system in Iran. And we started our way. A new watch will show hospital by hospital. And then we clean up the first 24 million is a lot of people. One third of Iranian population lives in one city. Then you keep an eye and inform your nations, your government. And we have agreed with the Iranian government. All negotiations will be including Cash Foundation. And we have a very big plan, and it's backed by his and the side of Khamenei on Friday. Technology, and exchange for peace. And we'll see where we go and how it goes, but <coughs> we we managed to to come to this point uh, primarily through a lot of solid work on the case foundation policies. Just backed it. We backed it in every shape or form. You got to realize the research, small water research for uh, Italy has cost three, four hundred thousand dollars. It has been paid and the report is done. Uh, the report in China, they all cost money. The reports in Europe, they all cost money. I paid without anybody knowing because I knew when the time comes, we have it to go. And now we have it. People like John in Arizona has stood behind the foundation like a rock. He has supported us in every way, in every means to be there. And uh, we have other people like him who stand by because we all believe in one thing, that we're going to change. And we, we started to change, it took a long time. It took the Corona to change it, but maybe it was due to be Corona to change it. And uh, it is part of the work to change it. But don't look that it's going to change tomorrow or next week or whatever. I wanted to take the technology out of the borders of Iran and the Iranian leadership in Sikesh. Let's do home cleanup first. If they want, they come and ask. Then we go outside. Well, the nation has suffered enough. And when we clean up first, then if they want, we help them to clean themselves. And we set up a lot of ways to do it. But uh, <coughs> the Indian leadership with the uh, instructional writer, we will go for peace. We will exchange peace with Iran and outside. But we help ourselves first. Um, and we make an example of Iran. And in a way, we with what is being released by the Iran capture the American drone, that we have such a space technology, we set up the next step for opening the space. We announce gradually, in the next coming weeks, the opening of the Cash Foundation University, financed for the Iranian government for space and all aspects. A new university will be established weeks fully financed by government and then the viruses and the rest will not be there. I said to one of our friends, tonight I sleep with peace of mind that we achieved while we came here because all the papers were signed to me. And all and all changes came because of one thing which was holding it back. It was, it was put right this week in the solar community.
Everything shows the soul of the universe community. You will understand. We are waiting for the last, uh, what do you call, confirmation which we received mid this week. And that, as I said, the party begins. And it's very hard for a lot of people to understand. But in due course, you will understand. The process is not just Corona, the process is part of the space technology, opening of the space to humanity, but through not the way that you think. I explain in detail, in writing, the procedure of why and how, and the reason for it, and how it needs to be done, and what is the reason we're doing it this way. And in the teachings in coming weeks, gradually we open up. And maybe, maybe a lot of things we see not correct today, needed this correction to become correct, not only for this planet, but the rest of the universe. And don't forget, which I always say, when we teach, it's not just when we praise. And we need a lot of backing by the Keshe Foundation community to reach a lot of new goals, and new levels. There is a new birth for humanity for the first time to be able to change. And that is not that we have to do it, we might miss the opportunity, uh, we're taking away, there is no opportunity to miss, it'll be done. It'll be done. But, step by step, we will release the name of the city, which is cleaned up, then, what they call, Tehran, then a number of cities like Shiraz, Mashhad is the priority of all this, 39. We go for the center of or culture of Iran, Isfahan and Shiraz. And then these five cities, then we go to the next cities in sequence. And prim primarily, we will cover the hospitals. This is our prime, because yeah, this is where everybody comes, and everybody goes. It doesn't matter what variations of it come, we'll do it. And we have some of the leading doctors and scientists in Iran backing this for it to be done because what well, was strange that a lot of you never realized some of the leading doctors in Iran, which was trusted by the government and leadership, they became part of the support team so they could see it. They nobody knew who they are, but they were there, they could monitor the changes, it's not fake. It's there because they became part of it. As I said, I sleep tonight with a lot of peace of mind that 18, 20 years of solid work has to start changing the position. And as I said, thanks to all of you, all the knowledge seekers over years, we have managed to at least start making a change. But we will have the losses. We cannot stop what is mayhem this corona has created. Cannot be stopped. But uh, a process, a life without vaccine, a life without medication, a life through understanding of the work of the body of the man through scientific organization has started. And uh, we'll take this step by step. Doesn't matter what your Prime Minister says, they all have been lying back, or they've been threatened, or whatever. We are dealing with one of the biggest tyrants of mankind, it's the gate. Tyranny in a massive scale. Where this did man change, or was it this way? But he was this way, he was a thief. And he saw a big benefit from his steps, from 
couple, and now he thought he can do the same. But we don't fight. We don't fight and just give us time. Listen to the news. They won't allow you to do anything. A lot of you want to go to the hospitals. A lot of you want to go to your ministers. They won't listen. Because they're all being paid. And all being threatened. And anybody who makes a move, they make a threat against them. This is the way they're operating. And this is the way they have operated. It's no use fighting. It's no use at all fighting, because you will get nowhere. A lot of you say, oh, I've been to the minister of this, I've been to the minister of that. They blocked all your ministers. They have stopped all your ministers. They're all involved. I am very grateful to hear the news that the they have signed that, and I am so grateful to be part of the foundation. Thank you for sharing this with us, Mr. Cash. We always shared everything, but it wasn't to the benefit of some people to understand. It's sometimes very difficult to digest how much we have contributed to our own suffering. But boy, when it becomes clear, it's very aha moments. And this work does help us do that. Yeah, we see what it goes and how it goes. We see what happens. I am delighted to see that Iran in the future will be her shining glory and not tarnished by all the propaganda that we've been taught. Sorry, we were taught so Yeah, much. it doesn't, doesn't count at all. And um, it's, it's part of to be, it's part of how it will be. And oh, uh, it's the new media. The media, the way they control. But uh, we, the good thing is that they don't control the media in Iran. And uh, we have decided uh, to do in, in the right way and uh, in a way set an example this is an example I know it's going to be very hard a lot of you will go to your governments <coughs> a lot of you will change but they will not listen as I said in the past couple of weeks to everyone Leave it to us to handle this. Leave it to us to handle it because um, there's a lot of work. Um, let me explain to you, even as we speak, as I said before, one of the leading research centers, scientists are staying awake overnight. They volunteer to stay overnight for five days to second time confirm. And which means when the scientific papers come out of Iran, 
has no flow in it. No flow, nothing. And we're not there to show to the world, we're there to show to the Union Nation. And with it, the expansion of the way. And, um, if you want to have no Corona, if you don't want your citizens to die, if you don't want to put a budget of bankruptcy, um, we, we are doing it our way. And then we are, we are prepared to share it as a big condition. And that is, um, we want you to sign a peace with Iran and with the rest of the world, never touch arms. And this is one of the cornerstones of the negotiations, which we insist on, and the Iranian government understood. And I don't know how many, in a Friday speech, if you listen to it, has come back. We make peace, but sometimes peace could have a bitter end. We have to swallow, forget about it. And if you listen, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people have gone into that space of time. So we're not going to fight here, we're not going to go. We've done this as uh, we have to listen to those who back us. The Iranian leadership says, we do it at home. Let's clean up. And as I said, um, Tehran Airport will be the only airport to start in the next maybe week, two weeks, three weeks. Uh, we'll start accepting flights. A lot of flights happen in national. Flights international are a little bit hard. But there are still people who travel. It's not that it's come to an end. I saw Lufthansa saying they have 300 odd flights a week internally in Germany. That is 50 flights, two flights, and now right across the biggest nation of uh, Central Europe, which is most probably one or two or ten people passengers. But we opened the Tehran International Airport for international traffic, and we give a guarantee whoever gets back on board to leave will go without any corona, and they will carry bits with them that they make sure they can protect themselves. And as I said to our team, uh, they ask you where you're coming from, if you're coming from Tehran, you don't need to be quarantined. You already come clean. That'll be a change. That'll be a big change in so many ways. Any questions? Hello, Mr. Kesh. This is Nikolai from Canada. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Um, I just had a question. I wanted to ask how we would, if we were passengers on an airplane coming back to our own country, uh, continue to keep ourselves in our own communities uh, from reinfection. What do you mean? If I came to Tehran and I fly in and I leave beautiful and happy and free of the corona, do I have a possibility of recontracting it within my own community, yes. let's say in Canada? Yes. And how would I be best able to uh, 
take care of myself in that case. In that case. Um, yes, you can because it's mutating. Um, Doctor Azar sent me a message today. This occasion, three children have died in New York with a new and they think it's a new type of virus uh, of Corona. And I said, give me 10 minutes, I can save their lives. This is not, you seen in New York, we had two cases in Iran in the past two weeks. Literally dying, with the doctors in the hospital. And I just received, one of our top team guys got it. With the doctors, as I said, the Keshe Foundation team, the, we have a 24-hour doctor with our team, the top team. He is part of the team, but he's always with them. 24 hours a day, we have two doctors who look after the Keshe Foundation team in the bar. They're literally with them day and night. They traveled today, yesterday, eight hours away, returned, and the doctor was in the car with them. And um, um, one of our top guys, came from a meeting from officials. I don't know why the officials had the worst time. Every time we go and see some of these high-ranking people, our team goes down with the worst case than before. He came there and he went down. And we gave him, they gave him everything. They went through the protocol one, protocol two, and they called me, this is Mr. Cash. The two doctors cannot do anything. He's even taken the uh, what do you call it, the headbands and everything off, he's vomiting. As I said it before, I said, this is what I want you to do. Five minutes, it was changed. As nothing happened. We had the same with the girl in northern Iran, near Mashhad, last week. Doctors couldn't understand. Same exact situation as New York. They arrived, less than half an hour now later, was not there. It'll mutate. This, this virus has the intelligence and this virus has a soul. Most probably knows what it's doing. And it's not one virus, it's becoming like communities building its own cities, building its own structure. And don't forget, when we said things that there's going to be Corona, this and that, they all laughed. And now you will see it. We will have communities in areas which they exist. And these are the communities where we have to work on. Because it's in the scientific paper which is getting published. So, yes, you will catch, because by the time you've been away, um, sorry, uh, Corona has been busy and is mutated. Mr. Kesh, I asked a question before this group actually started, and so it wasn't recorded, and most people weren't here yet. But I just maybe should repeat the question. Um, your answer was a, a confirmed, don't do it, but just in case they had the same thought I did when I saw the patches in the suit, you are not recommended that we make our own patches because the plastic of the bag, we don't know what kind of plastic it is. That's correct, yes? Yes, Caroline came to me. I know, I just wanted to make sure everybody... Uh, yes, uh, Caroline came. What happened, we, we have no choice in taking a risk or sometime um, you will see a lot of people when we take position in different ways as um, the situation changes 
um, the risk of using plastics and possible creation of CH3 is a small factor to what it can do in overcoming the risk. Um, I have a concern about it. I have a big concern about it. But um, we have tested in Iran. And at this moment of time, we have not seen that much problem to, uh, to stop it. But on the other hand, <clears throat> we haven't seen one of the main things we are looking for is the comp decomposition of the plastic. And as long as we don't see that, we, we are be staying on guard, but very careful. Do not touch CH3, stay away from as much as you can. Don't forget, you make your ganses in plastic containers, all of you, you hold it in plastic bottles. But uh, in the proximity of the body, we don't want it to be, because it's unknown how our body reacts and how Corona we might use it. And um, I think the time will tell. Time will tell. We advise you not to do it. But on the other hand, uh, <coughs> everything more or less you use is plastic. We were monitoring if it's going to be changes. Use plastic bottles to hold it, use plastic bottles to containers to build it. And we have seen positive but we still stay on the cautious side near the body. Thank you for the very good clarification, Mr. Kesh. We have to be always. This one needs charging. What are you? You put there? <laughs> yeah. Do you have a question for Mr. Kesh? I wasn't supposed to be here. How I got here, I don't know. Not my fault. Yes, Yasmin, are you here? Yes. Uh, hi, Mr. Kesh. Thank you for everything you do for our family. And I am wonder what um, what is this a funny smell? Um, well, from the bathtub when we use it is. Um, is the part of our body that is healing? Pardon? Yeah, um, there is a smell um, after we we bath, but not the same day, like the day after we <coughs> we use the the bath. Um, um, the next day uh, we refill, but what? Keep uh, the guns water. And yeah. Have some smell. Yes, I know. Caroline tells me it smells like fish. <laughs> I said, "Am I correct?" Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm, um. Now maybe you understand something. Maybe you understand something. If you listen to Thursday teaching, <clears throat> I said, I'll drop a water in the tank and you'll get a fish. Or I drop a water and you get a human being in the tank. You recall that? Yes, I remember that. So, um, you're a fish. And this water is a live water. Okay. You understand? Yeah. And when you stay in it, you carry the proteins. You actually start the first cycle of the live production of life. Oh. Now you understand. But instead of one drop, is the whole body skin which is soaked and now it starts processing. If you leave that water long enough and add a few little bits to it, you'll see a lot of fishes. 
Wow. Now you understand. Yeah. It's called, if you look at it, you put the mixture of CO2, sorry, um, cup number one and cup number two, and when you put cup one and cup two together, you call it cup of man, okay. which is reflection of your soul, if you understand it. Now you have done that in the bath. Oh. People don't understand why we do things. You wanted your cup of life to be sitting on the shelf. You swim within your cup of life. Oh. Now you understand. I if see. If you look at it, you are the conductor between the two cups, if you look at it the other way. In the, in the cups, cup of man, you, you make one cup and you connect it with the other cup with the same materials, which is cup one, cup two. Now you are that part of it. In a way, you connect yourself to the cup, but the cup is a liquid cup, the way life was started. And life is a fishy life. What did you expect? You wanted to stick and have a smell from it. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of work in hidden because when Caroline told me, you know, there's a problem, it smells of fish. I said, <laughs> of course, what do you expect? <laughs> also, I noticed that um, it's like my body is refining in some way to say, like, I, I prefer, if I, now it scans my main product, or if I can say in the words, like, uh, I choose to, to put guns in my hands to wash. My skin is softer. And uh, the, yeah, my skin is getting like, yeah, before, uh, yeah, when, when I uh, touch my, my skin is softer than in, before I was sick. Uh, and the um, re the regular products, I don't want to use um, the soap. Um, it's like a baby. When, yeah. when it's like a baby because it's other products make. Maybe you got rid of all the fishy skin. That's why the bath is one of fish. Ah, I see. And um, my other question is, um, we are cleaning up the house and, and I'm finding out that there are spots or, or things that has the feel of the corona. Is um, some point an indoor house, well, we live in a, a small apartment, like 1,000 feet square feet at some point that we are going to really clean up the corona or is gonna live with us mm -hmm. we we live with this thing because it's if you think of it, I was explaining this to the Iranian scientists. Um, we craved to be in a space, we craved to be part of the universal community. And what is universal community? And this is interaction with the fields. That's what it is. We have to recognize them. If we would have met this corona 
in a space and we had the knowledge now we have and we gathering now would have killed so many of us like this in a space There is a reason this is on here with us and the way it's combinations and it's mutation is literally teaching us and will teach human being how to live with energies in the space, we call them virus. Was it the will of God for us to do this? Was it um, without us knowing um, Bill Gates being the tool of it, a uh, pre-run test for us to be ready for that interaction. I explained recently, and I emphasize on it more and more, that there will be more interface interactions and I've seen people putting videos, live videos, more and more in past few days. And um, the, the reality is, let's say, one of these system lands at 100, 200, a thousand, ten thousand beings come out of it. You see them as light, which a lot of you will see as a light. And while that light in front of you, they take the shape of human. Because this is how you recognize. Or they take a shape that uh, you recognize. Or you can recognize, or you can associate. Might be a slightly different color than we are used to it. Or it could be uh, a slightly different shape. And this is the problem. And This is what we got to learn. Are we going to cuddle them? Are we going to kiss them? Would we eat them? How many of you would like to taste them? And and would we recognize them as viruses, or would we recognize them as another being? Is the aura? energy around them like a virus to us or are they aware of our weaknesses that they change their strength that doesn't harm us Shouldn't we do this? And then we learn more. We understand more. 
and we had a period or when these beings come and we touch them and we get something we run to a gas stop and just jump in it let me balance myself before we can go any further but don't forget they've been amongst us for a long time Uh, Mr. Keshe, I'm well aware of that because uh, when my uh, when my wife had cancer and uh, she had to go to the hospital to get a biopsy, and she came back with the uh, diagnosis of cancer, I was very relieved because that's why she went to the hospital. If she'd have come back and been a moose or a rhinoceros, I'd have been really upset. Can what I? What you mean? What you mean by that? Well, and she, she went for a biopsy for cancer and she came back and it was positive. So I was very grateful because that's that's what uh, what the problem was. So, but I'm just so saying, what are you going to do with it? Well, we, we were able to do something about it, but uh, it wasn't as sophisticated as what we're doing today. And, uh, and now we're seeing the... Uh, we're now we're seeing the path uh, forward in a, in a different light and how it actually, my, my introduction to the whole thing was that that's all I was looking for was a way to treat the cancer. I didn't want to know all about this life and, and uh, how to grow things and how to heal things and all that, but there was a necessary lesson and that's uh, how I've arrived here. And, and so now we're seeing that it isn't just a virus, it's, it's how to live with it and how to how to uh, bring peace on this planet the way the way it was originally intended to and the way the rest of the universe works so we we uh, as you say we we are the uh, virus here in in so many ways yeah but the reality is all of us go through experiences uh, to be where we are and um, in so many ways a lot of us are here through destiny not by accident some some are passengers passing through, some are here just suddenly to see the show. But many of us are key souls who have been brought to see this happen. We don't carry the name and title of general and everything else. We will, we will understand uh, that um, lifestyle, the way we are, the way we live, some of it, let me put it this way, I explained this to somebody in a different way, maybe not to be misinterpreted. You see what I call clowns like gates, who come and they think they plan and they do things. We planned thousands of years ago. I explained the detail, what is going to happen in writing. What is about to happen has been written in writing. Mm. 
what um, what is about to happen it would have happened with gate or without gate in respect to changes which are to come and this corona situation brought a new dimension into it and in so many ways uh, what is happening now you might say oh the corona came and it just brought it it's been promised for thousands of years and to be that a lot of souls have been put in position and there are many souls I know who are there and are there to be the, what I call old friends and these when we come we come equipped we just don't come just to do something and try to change and this is what uh, to you might look because you look at them on the daily basis or whatever what's got to do with you but not only we look at what it's got to do with you, what's got to do with your country, as you made in the country, what's got to do with this planet, what's got to do with the life in the galaxies and the universe and the unicorns. I explained this in writing uh, very recently, that every single one of you or one of anything in the universe has connection with every magnet in on the table. It's a sequence of consequence of certain moves. And I've shown it many times and I always remember Rick has a very good stand on top with all the magnets. When you put a magnet, it doesn't matter how many, you move one, everything else moves. Then you put a key one in the middle, the whole lot moves. I once wanted to see what would be the effect and reactions of magnets in a way, I uh, would say, uh, the soul, if you call it, because we are all spherical magnets. Those of you who've been run with me in some of the labs, I carry huge amount of magnets, tens of thousands of euros and dollars of magnets, because it's the only way I can understand physically how to transfer knowledge of creation into man's work, because you work with magnets. And the strangest thing with it is, um, and I have a special tables that nothing sticks to, and I could simulate universes, and I could simulate galaxies, and I could simulate the soul of the man in respect to the galaxies and the universes. You put a little tiny magnet in the middle of the whole structure you set up. You see a lot of them move to accommodate that little magnet. Even the big magnets move. And that little tiny magnet is the soul of a man. So, we have connection to everything. And if you understand this, it's very easy to understand the change which is brought today is not just with the human. 
it's a bigger, much larger scale more, much, 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 much larger. That's what I keep on saying when I teach, it's not for the man, but this is for the soul of the universe. Others listen, because there is a change, fundamental change, and that change has started. Needed to be changed, and I will explain in detail why and how Earth was chosen. The one thing that may be different is the time frame. Uh, you mentioned that uh, the Earth has aged uh, rapidly, like millions of years forward, more than what it should have. It ages anyway till it goes to zero. You know, um, the age of the Earth is like women. The older they get, the younger they become. So, <laughs> me too. Sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. But um, the older the Earth gets, it gets closer to the mother. And the younger it becomes. Your life's very rapid. Don't forget you the the process of life on this planet, due to its position and structure, is very much uh, more progressive because it receives a higher energy from the sun. The intellect changes. You see, if you look at the Venus and the others in front, or the ones behind us, they are centrally aligned. They carry life, but a monoatomic, what we call mono, boring life, I call it. Everything is the same. And planets like Earth are because of the angle. Mankind will come across a very funny race. We call them, if you call it, shakers. Um, and these are the most funniest people, but extremely intelligent beings in the universe. Um, why, why I call them shakers is um, because the process of this, like Earth, doesn't happen uh, over a thousand years, it happens millions and millions of years. Sometimes, Planet go through the phase change, where they cannot go, so they start vibrating. But they have a, they have created a life, and they have the most strangest combination of lives in them. It's like uh, putting somebody in a in a shaker and just shake it. You know these earth shakers. They bring they shake the earth to get the sand down. They they literally shake like this in the universe. Can you imagine, um, very much like a drunk, you try to walk and you shake and fall over, but on a systematic rhythm, for millions of years. The planet doesn't shake up, doesn't break itself up, it just moves with it, and it creates life. A certain life, it, it happens a few times, and you call it, I call it the shakers. And these people are extremely intelligent. Extremely intelligent. They are let's put this way. if it takes a thousand years to teach a man, they take one day. As I said, the intelligence of man become because uh, first of all the angle of the planet, secondly, man goes from horizontal to vertical very easy. So the physicality and the soul has to adjust to it. We get up, without getting up, when you when you sleep flat, and then you get up to stand up, this is a huge, a tremendous change of position and field of strength.
and we walk it. Animals go flat, they stand up, but they go back on four legs. We don't do that. Even if you look at the gorillas, they have to bend forward, we don't do. So, we lock from one position to another, we accept a diversity of intelligence, information. And now imagine, if you get up, you create, you're, you're born in an environment like Earth, <coughs> and you get up. Now you want to stand up. <coughs> and in that process, you shake too. So, you have to think a lot of things, that are from this point to that point, I can stand up, I don't fall, I have everything, there's things everywhere, you organize it, every time you move, you shake. So that brings additional intelligence, because you become aware of the environment and the condition of yourself. And these shakers are that way. If you understand it, it would uh, explain. And this brings intelligence, and mankind, has gone through that process. And, so, intelligence, man, mankind, when it goes to space, will create different intelligence. Um, as I said, what I've requested from the Universal Community is to, when mankind opens up his eyes to the horizon of his future, they set up what you call, let me explain to you, like, 3D, um, what we call holograms of the life of man, and more to come. Then you can see your history which has been recorded. And you learn what to come in the future before you go to space. You will see uh, A horizon, and you see the history. But a lot of you will not see it with your eyes. You see it through the eye of your soul. It means you comprehend it as part of the structure of what you already knew. My work is not so easy. I have to understand the man and deal with the man. At the same time, I have to work with those who come to educate man. It's like what I said to, to the head of Keshe Foundation, and then the head of Keshe Foundation, and what we set up in the background is education teams and the, the education for youngsters, and then we have to do education for the older one, and then we have to organize whatever comes with it. I have to do the same thing on the other side. Because in the way I've been here, I understand, man, it's like when I tell you, I understand Chinese, because I had to go and live in China, to understand that part of the mentality. And in that process, um, we got to set up things that mankind can accept, when it comes. But don't expect to see soldiers and armies and people coming, no. A lot of you who are enlightened will see through the eye of your soul. You'll be shown. And some of you, as here, you might ask questions, can we see the crucifixion of Christ? It'll be shown. You'll see it through the eye of your soul. You want to see the wars, you want to see the history of man, how you became out of a hole as a mammal, or how you cope with the dinosaurs, all been recorded.
So, what are you going to see? And what you want to see? One of the things which I'm asking the Universal Community is to open the history of the British monarchy. You'll understand why. And I asked for Japan Emperor household, their lives to be opened up. You understand in the future why. And we open. It's not that we went and took a picture of every animal, every soul which lived here. It's like the way you take a snapshots of walking through the zoo or going for a mountain climbing or you go walking on the street and you see something you take. The citizens of the universe have taken pictures, memory of being on Earth or those who were responsible for operation of it, have recorded through their souls. And that's what you're going to see. But we can't open up, as I said just recently to um, someone, you're not ready for it yet. You're not ready for it yet. It takes time. A few more months, a few more weeks. Let's get the peace on way. Let's get people to understand more. Let's change the tie of the man's mentality away from war and everything else. And then we go to the next step. You got to understand. You got to mature. Mankind needs to mature and it matures very fast. You will mature. You have no choice, put it this way. Corona has put you on the track. Um, a lot of people will go back, they will go back to prices, everybody like pharmaceutical will change, military movement will change, and position with um, a lot of things will change. Man is deeply wounded by this corona. Deeply wounded. A lot of people are claiming to go back to normal. You cannot go back to normal. You can't, you won't walk on the street and stay in the lift and think, how many of us have a corona? Am I going to get infected? Our behavior will change. And change of behavior will bring a lot of mental attitudes. People haven't realized what this corona is going to do to you. I watched, I stood on the balcony and I watched people's behavior. And it's strange. Uh, they walk, they still pass each other, but there is that feeling, there is that point, that, is it going to give me a corona? Am I safe? Or, subconsciously we don't do anything with it, until we get it, and that's it, now we're going to handle it. I go till the last minute and I do. Six weeks, over 30,000 people have died in the United Kingdom. If you make it five weeks, it's 30 days, a thousand people a day. It's nothing. But, I tell you one thing, multiply 30,000 by let's say about 10 million people in UK at this moment carry the virus. And these numbers will increase to the total numbers, maybe 50% and plus. And over time, everyone will be affected by it. 
how many of you might die of it? Or the governments find a way to fiddle with the figures and don't tell you the truth. Oh, it was a stroke. But what was the cause of the stroke? Crone. We have now a lot of people coming up with different problems. The toes, the children dying, everything else. How far would it go? We got two choices. We live with Corona, and we live with the viruses from the universe. Maybe this Corona is the first one which is solidified in our body or got life. Or um, it'll take all of us and we become his servant. We have to create an environment for it, or it will create an environment for us. As a follow-up to Nikolai's question then, uh, is, uh, and I think you alluded to it before, we will need other uh, cups to help us with the mutations, is that correct? What do you mean? One cup and the second cup are not enough. In so many ways, yes. Of course you will. Mr. Kesh, it's me, Yasmin, again. Uh, if uh, when you said that uh, Iran is clean, uh, it means like you with the ganses you create and the people you create a new environment that Corona is living with you, or or the environment. Um, change then for for him to move away what do you mean yes um it, if corona it's like i am trying to understand what really means clean is like he he went to another place when 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 we are in the guns bathtub and and t drinking uh we are feeling feeling it uh in a point that is is gone is satisfied or is is uh, in balance with us What is, what is happening? What do you mean? Yeah, it's um, what? Yeah, it's like I'm trying to make sense with, uh, because um, I remember you told us that um, because Gans is a giver, so. It's a, it's a magnet, so it's attracting corona and it's de depleting. Uh, the thing is, the gans is not attracting, the gans is interacting. And this is what I said.
the in the present time we kill we destroy we overcome by destroying or killing or capturing in the new knowledge we share we we accommodate and Krona's energy will be accommodated. The same as we accommodate what you call aliens, they are another pack of energy, which take the shape of the man. And to what extent you will be ready for it. Does every one of us like every fruit on this planet? Does every one of us accept every package of energy in the universe? So then, the, my uh, protocol, my GANS protocol, helps me to share this. Is my is, is my body a house for me? And also, right now, for well, and all the uh, beings that lives or creates the body cells, you know. So we are sharing this house with Corona. So uh, again, it helps me to to share the, the same house with Corona. Uh, we're all sharing house with Corona now, more or less. I think from Amazon to Alaska to uh, to North Pole and everywhere else. It's become part of us, but the strangest thing is how did it become fast, so fast, everywhere. This is what I wrote um, and I explained very recently. Why are we getting Lee Samhak twice, back on and back on? Um, Please, if anybody sees anybody waiting, because Caroline has gone to sleep. I'm so getting, have... I'm getting him, but for some reason he keeps coming back, and I don't know if he's disconnecting or having problems getting in somehow. He keeps coming, and then I let him in, and then he comes back, and I let him in again, and this time I, I agree, Mr. Keshe, he was there waiting twice. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still waiting, but one he's of his always... other waitings is yeah, gone. I'm, I'm having the same problem. Yeah, okay, and, so you um, look after that side. I'm hoping Carolina isn't asleep yet. She needs to make me host so that I can close the... Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's in Coco Land, I think. She's Don't still wake her. The, she's uh, still no, holding. She's already awake. She's supposed to sleep with the earphone. <laughs> yeah, she's still holding the host button. So yeah, the closing the button. host button. How do you get to the host button? It's amazing. I know nothing about these things. Okay, so if you hover hover over my name. She's there. She oh, woke she's up. Got she it. heard you. Yeah, she's got it. Yeah. Thank you, Carolina. Otherwise, she would have gone the whole night. It'll be recording. Um, pardon? What do you mean? I just, I just said thank you, Carolina. That's all. I thought you were recording. I saw the recording on it. Yes, I'm ah. recording, but not to the cloud, only to my uh, computer. Yours, okay, because I've seen recording. Yes, and we have yep. a few others that are doing private recordings as well. Yep, no problem. Thank you, Mr. Cash. Anyway, 
I just came here to say a little bit, but I said too much. Uh, but we gotta learn to live with this guy. And we gotta respect it as much as he respect us. He has no respect for us. He has his own agenda. And um, he's decided his own, what I call invasion. Um, we, we have to see how things go with this situation. Mr. Kish, may I ask a question? Yes, no problem. Um, when are the Iranians going to announce to the world what's going on with the corona and are they... We're working? not going to announce, I already made the announcement. We're not going to announce it, we're going to do it. And we're going to make sure we do it our way, we make it public, we're not holding it. Holding back, but we are not going to say whatever, we're going to do it, and show it is done, and let the others to follow. And uh, in so many ways, maybe it's the wrong way, maybe it's the right way, because whatever the Iranians do, is something wrong with it, according to what the guy decides, the blondie and his paymaster, so we don't care. Um, we, we got to go this way, because, don't forget, um, um, As I said to uh, someone in the past, we used to be a household of emperors. According to statistics, Iran has ever been the largest monarchy emperor ever mankind has seen, 40% of Earth landmass used to be run by the Persian Empire. And so there is no uh, no understanding of um, what we know. And we understand a lot, which has become part of our culture and part of our genetic structure we lead, uh, we just go with it and let the others fall. And this is one of the ways, one of the ways to be, one of the ways to stand. Let me explain to you something which you do not understand. I want to tell you a part of the history which is not known but you got to know. Most probably, some of you do, but you never understood it this way. Why there is a separation in the Islamic world between Shi and Sunnis? And why the Shia sect sits in Iran. And why the ones who are connected to Muhammad, which bear the name of Sayyid, are so special and come that way. And why we keep this the way and has been kept the way it is, and it will be that way forever to be. Um, the reason Shia religion stays in Iran, and with the Iranians, and so preciously guarded,
when Muhammad came, he understood that the Iranians believed in one God. And he said, they have the same, long before we have. So I'm not fighting with them, because my fight is to bring mankind to understand the existence of one God. So he never waged a war on Iran. When he died, his disciples or whatever, waged a war on Iran. His family had the same understanding as him, that these people have their own belief in one God, which was Zoroastrianism. And they took the side of Iran. And then, when the, his disciples, his uncles or whatever, were going to loot Iran for his wealth of it, the sons of, or grandsons of Muhammad stood against it. And in that process, when the disciples uh, killed the Shah of Iran, the king, which was Russians, and he went through the cycle of it, they grandson married the daughter of the king. And that's how Iranian culture is mixed up with the Arab nations, with Islam. We carry a blood of Muhammad and blood of the old Russian name. Which means when you are called the Sayyid, you are not just a Muslim to Muhammad. You carry the root of the belief in Zoroastrianism and in Mithraism. And this is why, if you look, the Arab nations celebrate whatever they do, because they never had a culture, but the Iranians still celebrate the Nowruz, the Eid, and we kept the two together, the two religions lived side by side, one in the skies of the other. And this is why you see, when you call the Sayyid, it means you come from the land, inheritance of old Iran, the Zoroastrianism, and blood of Muhammad. Because the Prince, all the descendants of Muhammad, are born from that Princess. Again through the woman. And, in so many ways, we see the same culture running down. Because, Romans were bonded and binded to that Zoroastrianism through that princess. And, in so many ways, we carry a very special understanding in respect to the Islamic faith and religion, and the Iranian culture, which is 40% of the world's landmass at the time. And the law of time was peaceful coexistence. And now when we take back in the position, we'll go back to our roots of the righteousness peaceful coexistence. And in so many ways, what would be the destiny of the man? And how would we react into it? And how we will bring it? Is what I said, it's in so many ways, if you read or seen in very recent writings, talks I give, that we make one nation out of this planet. And we make one Iran out of this planet. Which means we bring the lords of Zoroastra and Mitra back into life. This is how the original life started.
they say the oldest village in the world is in north of Iran. They have Mayan culture 9,000 years ago. Seven thousand before Christ. But what does this culture gonna bring? Peace, because now it shows itself again. Was it protected under the cover of the Islam and Shiism and different names of uh, Sayyids and the rest of it? that now goes back to its origin, the way we're going back to where we came from, talk good, do good and live good, which is the way of the universe. When you come to time of space, when you think good, first thing you think is, is my energy detrimental to one who receives my energy or is in touch with it. What can I change for not to be harmed? And then you do good, you take that step to not to harm. Even it might be a sacrifice to you that you have to lose something because it's you who entered or it's you who is the detrimental to that point. Way of thinking has to change. And way of understanding operation of the soul has to change. And then you come the way the universal law is and the way the Mithraism of is all, Zarashtra is. We are going back to where it started with a few thousand years of mess by Christians, the Jews, the Buddhists, the Muslims and everything else which was put in the pot. But with the knowledge this time that we don't forget. Because this time we write it in the pen of the soul. So, if you see it's coming from Iran, Any other question? Mr. Cash, I can hear the exhaustion in your voice. I want to thank no, you. No, I have been there. I've been, we've been working. We have a lot of, a lot of work is done in the background. We are still in meetings in the background with the others waiting for communication and conferences in two, three countries which is going on. We snap rest in between wherever it is. Caroline says, whenever I see you going, I just say, okay, that's all we need. Mm. Okay. No problem. We, I was working till four o'clock this morning. There's a lot of education to be done. There's a lot of teaching to be done. I have taken to elevate souls, especially for the changes to come. And it needs to be taught and to be learned and to be understood for these souls. And we start a new cycle. And the cycle has to be the correct way. 
there are the mistakes of the past cannot happen. And um, these brings and these changes, and these changes has to be done the right way. The problem, or not the problem, the situation is that we have to teach individuals, governments, groups, look after a lot of souls which are there, and at the same time set the scene for the new birth, new cycle. May I ask another question, uh, Mr. Kish? Yeah. Um, what countries have actually got hold of you for help with the corona? What do you mean, can you repeat? For instance, uh, which governments have got hold of you to assist with the corona? We don't need. We collaborated from the beginning with the Chinese and the Iranian. That's all we wanted. I I chose uh, because we were with Chinese. Uh, you see, the Governments always, especially in the West, have ways to block because they, they, they come from the mentality of what is being said. Um, the Chinese have their own way of doing things. And we have our own way of doing things. And uh, somewhere we need to understand that uh, giving up on the West was the best thing to do, and concentrating on the East uh, was the best thing to do. Because um, the West is well controlled and um, in the hand of um, what they call organized crimes. Um, I have a very big question, and this question will raise us very fast. How come? How come? Mr. Gate can have a close relationship with one of the most famous pedophiles on a regular basis. We put a very big question mark on the integrity of his behavior and closeness to the guy who died in New York. And we are gathering evidence. We will go for Peter file case, and uh, it cannot be unknown. These people choose their cronies. All I tell you, what is merging in the background is is. <coughs> I have to be very careful to put it that you understand it. The way we see it, Gate has taken control over everything else. Evidence coming up that Gate has used this man who died by hanging, you know who I'm talking about, in New York jail, to plant, to find weaknesses on the world leaders through this process, that he could bring the pressures of present time on them. There's a criminal connection between the two. Not by act, but by proxy. 
Let me explain to you what has happened. In the elections of a certain African nation, a number of Chinese prostitutes were brought into the country. Extremely beautiful. And they were placed strategically in positions where the present ruling government was frequenting. And they took live pictures of the ruling parties in bed with the Chinese girls. And they used that to pressurize the party opposite. And there is a question mark on behavior of gate in this respect. We were looking how world leaders are bending and not letting him do what he likes. But he financed, as part of his financing, the what we call using this man to provide children for them to be video that he could ransom them to push his agenda. He's a criminal. And you remember when we started gathering intelligence on um, Stelling? Now, the Keshe Foundation securities are gathering very high intelligence. We can put this in public, we have no problem. The relationship between the two and why he was killed comes not from what you thought, it comes through a different way. So in providing the young children videoed with leading world politicians given to Gate, now he's pressurizing that way. He's a criminal, and we are on to him, he won't go very far. He can say he has never touched a young girl, and he said in his interview, sometime you misjudge. He did not misjudge, he used to collect, to intimidate, and to provoke, and to ransom. This question has to be answered. And as we're coming in the public domain, we'll put this in public. Blackmail. It might shock you, but when we submitted evidence about standing, FBI officer said, you've done all the work, we just need the last push. Now, we had to look how he was pushing world leaders, how he could get away, he put everything. He has put many young children in bed with many world leaders and photographed it. And Gates has paid for the expenses. So, now you understand. That this is one of the ways he has taken and done. And this is one of the reasons I told you, we'll show you what happened in British monarchy, as you heard, one of the Queen's sons has been well informed and been in there as well for his arrest in the US is already issued. We gather enough that when we come by association, plus charge will go the same way. He took even pictures from them and their group. 
it's taken a lot of people to ransom, a lot of people wants to see the end of him, but they can't because of what he's done. But, put it this way, in case you Foundation, you don't taint it, we can do our work. Another question, if I may ask. Yep. What, Afri uh, what, what African country was it? It was a beautiful sky day. Any other question? Does this mean that the speedboat to the U.S. Uh, um, space, uh, naval ship is off? Still on. Okay, good. Thank you. We don't change anything. We, 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 there are certain things to be done, certain things to be shown. Let us do it. We, we have to come with it. Now we go in very soon with the Chinese in the same direction and the Russians are coming in the same direction. And um, step by step, step by step. Thank you for what you're doing, Mr. Kess. Thank you. Oh, we are all doing it together. We are, but you really are. Are you the Messiah they're going to finally declare, Mr. Kess? <laughs> we always declared. Oh, I know that you, but uh, somewhere in your writings, you said there was a group that's going to declare the Messiah has come. So I thought, of course he has, it's Mr. Cash. And I know we're each a Messiah, but I, I was just enjoying the recognition. No, but the thing is, uh, the, the earth doesn't need saving. The earth needs awakening. It's a big difference. So uh, sorry. we need to awaken. I see the That's all. cup that you're giving us as the awakening tool. It's definitely helping us wake up. It's just a matter of awakening. Okay. The reason I asked you about which countries that communicated with you uh, because trying to get through to my government about Keshe Foundation and the technologies available to help they just show no interest at all. Nobody is because you have to understand there is a dossier opened on Keshe Foundation signed by the Americans and initiated by the Belgians and they never thought, we'll, we'll take this across till the time we can, and then it'll, it'll pass over. But it didn't pass over. It will not, not I'm, pass over. I'm not going to give up with him. <laughs> no, 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 you don't need to. Listen, I, I know, I know African, I like the, Germans, like the Americans, you're all trying to get in to get to governments. Ask yourself one question, why? They've been told, don't touch. Because this is not an agenda of what they accepted the money in their banks. Case knows we are the only, only alternative to his work. You know why? He tried to buy it. Gate tried very hard to buy the foundation, the work, the knowledge. I negotiated with him for weeks and months. Can you imagine, just, just can you imagine, if 
we would have gone into bed with Gates, and he had this on top of what he had as a plan. This technology on top of it in his hand. My God. You human beings would have had no chance. You're done and dusted, as we say. Done and dusted. The universe, the universe with the way that guy was after things. He is not what it is, but I have a very bad habit. And that is, when I target something to understand, I target till I understand. And if I decide to get something done, it gets done. And this comes as part of being confident, a part of knowing who I am. I never gave any ransom, and I never sold my soul to no one. And I have a very strange habit. I want, I ask, I get. Because what I get is not for me alone. It belongs to a lot of other things because it says it's part of a bigger structure. And there's a bigger structure behind all the things you see. There's a big evolution. And it has to come. It has to come to change. And if we don't talk it and teach it, who do you think is going to touch, teach and talk it? No one. And now we can do. And you're part of it, you do the same. None of us is angel. But at the same time, we try to bring a life to be an angel life for those who live with us, along us, amongst us. And it needs time. It needs a lot of time. It needs a lot of understanding. It needs... Uh, the, your problem is to trying to convince a government. My problem is not convincing, it's setting up a structure for the universe. That this structure hasn't started yesterday or today. It's thousands of years. I explained to... Uh, one of the knowledge seekers, why we chose the Earth, why Earth is going through this process, but you only look at your angle, your side, but we look at the totality of all the events which are in the background. It's much more than what you think. As I said, man is always self-centered. A bigger change is on the way. Much, much bigger than you can ever imagine. I explained to one person only in the past 48 hours. Because it's time to educate for people to know why. And we are very, very adamant. So it's not trying to play games because it's time to explain why. It's time for people to understand why. It's time for people who are involved in it to understand this is what is being said to be because there's a part of a bigger structure. Bigger, much bigger. But what is a beautiful thing because it's a new beginning. It's a new life. It's a, a new change, not for mankind. And it's a change for a lot of things which puts mankind and a lot of things in order for things to happen. I speak very clearly. It's you who have to understand it. Even today, I, if you, in time, this recording, I listened by knowledge seekers and humanity, and non-humanity for those who we consider as our guests, they say, 
how, why didn't he tell the whole lot in one go? Because you're not ready. You're not ready if I tell you what is about to happen. You won't even comprehend it. What is about to happen? Why? You look at the, the, the earth and the time. Why has it been chosen this way? There's a lot of reasons. Go back in my teaching, I have explained everything in detail, but in a hidden way. If somebody settles and in a way unraffles it and undecode it, you will see. He always told us what he's going to do, but we didn't listen. He told us what is about to happen. And a lot of it was, a lot of things had to be done. This is what I said. A lot of your souls have been chosen to be here. And uh, souls which have a specific job to be here to do. And they think they're doing other things. But no, whatever you do or whatever you've done is part of what is said to be done. It's supposed to happen, because that's why you're here. That's why I encourage a lot of you to get in touch with your soul, try to understand your soul, because then you understand, this is my physical life, and this is my responsibility as a soul to the other things which has been accepted for me to be here. In a way, your physicality is... Uh, is given the responsibility by your soul, and you don't see it, but the soul takes you there till it's done. There's a huge celebration on the way. Huge celebration. And one of the reasons, as I said, you will understand very soon why you see so many UFOs, and whatever you call it, and some come without a UFOs, because they use other ways of means, because there's a celebration to take place. And I've worn this one for nearly eight years, ten years. It's a change for the whole structure. And I keep on saying in teachings, and I keep on repeating it, but nobody understand it, won't even understand it, that we take man into space, into universal community, to be equal and not subordinate. But you have to understand, there is a lot of inequality, inequalities in the universe itself. So, in this process, everybody becomes the same. It's not just for you, just because you see the Earth. There's a lot of adjustments, and stuff. stuff tweaking it here and there to adjust it. The, what we call, you call it the creator, we call it the origin, has decided that Everything will be cleaned up in one go that we don't have any more mess. So everybody goes the same way. Equal. It's not just for a man. And the reason we chose the Earth has got its own specific reason, which has been explained. So, what else do you want me to tell you? Is this the realization of what you taught us? Of when uh, Venus moves and we get closer? Is that closer than 10 years from now? It's much, much closer than... Okay, so that, that's the surprise? Okay. It's not that it's not a, it's not a Venus to get closer. It's the whole restructure of the universal community. As you understand, Earth is... I mean, when you start changing somewhere, we start somewhere. You always start from a position. And then you understand more. You know, a lot of people understand more. And I start a lot of things which was in ambiguity in the past. I start putting it very much in the front for people to see, to understand. And even if you understand a lot of it, we, we partially try to bring it in during the time of Elia Kostova. That far back. Mr. But, Chris? Uh, it wasn't there. Yes? 
you, you said there's a lot of inequalities in the universes. Uh, Inequality in knowledge, nothing else in understanding. Okay, okay. Clear, thanks. There is no banks, there is no overdrafts and borrowing. In a way, if I can tell you, it's like unifying all the communities in Europe as one, and everybody uses the same currency and the same education system and all. Is it part of what was told us uh, in the Bible, in the Revelation, that uh, the whole world will come to be one? Is that it? As a human, you, your world is Earth, as us, the whole world is a unicus. So in any way, yes. We were waiting, and waiting for a completion of one cycle. And that cycle was completed. On the other hand, we were waiting for arrival of one, and was arrived. And when we arrive, we have to place it in the right place. And that was placed, and it was accepted. And the change starts from the time when everything is in position and accepted. This is the, this is the, what? is and has been. Finding the right souls, finding the right people who, it's just, you know, you're waiting for your brother come before you start the party, and no party happens till he arrives, or you wait for your, uh, what do you call it, a star guest to arrive, otherwise the party doesn't start. How can you start? A birthday party without a birthday boy or a birthday girl. And that's what we're waiting for. But then you have to translate into physicality that it can. We see the dimension is has both physical and the soul of what we call the soul or a pack of energy which has a logical sequence of understanding of the totality of the work of universe. Your body understands the physical part of the life. Your soul understands the work of the universe. So everything had to be done, that everything fits. Now we understand more, we tell you more. And this is why I keep on saying in all the teachings, when we teach, we teach for the whole of the universe. For them to become equal to, I haven't hidden anything from you. But because you don't understand, do you just be a voice? Now as more and more of you mature in the understanding and in the soul, you understand what is about to happen. And we were waiting for the princess to arrive, as we call it. And it's arrived. And then the cycle has taken place for it, and he has to go. Nothing changes. And the process is that the whole, the whole structure goes into balance. You see, from now on, you decide, if I travel with my soul, I understand every other soul. If I travel with a, uh, let's say, UFO, everybody is there the same as me, understands the same. There is no animosity, there is no war. There is no misunderstanding. Nobody becomes nobody's food. Have you been 
in these Chinese restaurants that they have this very long flat fish and it's only one fish usually in the tank and they put live small goldfish in it and if you just arrived you say what a beautiful thing such a big fish gorgeous and all these little uh, goldfish are swimming around him but if you come back next week you see there are no goldfishes that is food eat them one by one you can understand the fear of each goldfish knowing that they are the bait when it's going to be their turn when you go next time to a Chinese restaurant you see these fishes just have a look it's not accidental it's been put in there to be eaten and this is what we want to take out and this is now from now on will be taken out with the new birth that every one in a way through the birth of physicality and the soul elevates the same image you live a physical life but you don't kill you live a soul life but you don't touch so education is for both sides And you will see more and more, we see people are reporting huge number of lights and everything else. Yes, it's the time. You got somebody who's got his hand up, he has mean sanchez. Yes, mean, did you need to speak again or is that from last time, dear? Oh, well, no, no right now. But thank you, Mr. Kesh, for, for everything you are doing for this family and answering my questions. We send you our love. You're welcome. How is your son? Victor is doing better. Um, he doesn't have the, the ear pain anymore, just has the rash behind the ear. He is still um, doing the patches. These uh, rashes are calcium conversion. You have to keep an eye on it and try to convert it. Uh, I'll send you a message what to do to get rid of at least trying to see if you can get rid of it. Because um, you have to take it out or it has to be dissolved that it doesn't become something else. These are what we said in the future will become cancer if it's inside the, inter inside the body of the man. In the outside, the way you see it, it's okay because you see it, it's, it won't become, we can keep an eye on it. But if the same, mm, the rashes created in the layer of the womb, in the layer of the heart, in the layer of the lung, become cancer. And this is what we're trying to do. Trying to, in a way, to reverse calcification. Oh, okay, I see. Um... What uh, well, with Alfonso, what happened is um, he has um, like a fungus in his toe, but uh, was coming coming out, but then uh, something green appeared inside the skin. So, um, like Carolina, is he converting to a Martian with a green part? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, hopefully, he, hopefully he becomes uh, healthier. <laughs> but yeah, well, he is uh, now with his treatment with the with the bucket with cup two. 
he, uh, he you need to mix cup one and cup two when you come to the hands and feet you need to go like 30 percent uh, cup one 30 percent cup two and then fill it up with the amount of water you need Oh, okay. To come back, because when it comes to the toes and that kind of position, when you have it, is both the the what you call nerve and the muscle tissue. So you have to do both. When you do cup two, it just looks after the muscle tissue. But what you're going to do with the nerves, which are causes of it? Oh, okay. So I shall do the same because, um, well, um, within all the uh, different. Uh, organs coming better, but I got the, um, uh, I lost sensitivity in my, in my uh, foot and the right foot, but the pain uh, has gone in, um, in the little finger, but shall I do that or just still with the bat? Uh, shall I do the same as my husband? For my feet? We, we advise um, to use up the use of the gases for change of condition and not for treatment. Because we don't go to treat, we just change the environment. Oh, so, okay. so you have to understand what environment you need to change to accommodate the change for yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah, some of us, as I say, invite the soul because it allows us to express some of our emotion. We have to understand that part as well. Okay. Okay, and the heart, um, my uh, sometimes the pain is coming and going, depends if I touch something with. But who that has the field, um, the corona field, but I haven't uh, using uh, the patches, the 20% patches, the one cup, and that has been helping me and uh, being lighthearted, more, more fun. Enjoy life, but look after yourself. You passed the critical point. Now, it's part of living with life as it is. Thank you, Mr. Cash. Yes, I, I passed the critical point. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you very much. Shall we call it a day? It's very late for us. Thank you. Thank you so very Thank much. You very much. Thank you very much. We try to keep these uh, sessions to four hours. And the Keshe Foundation members there, and the head of Keshe Foundation there, four hours. But we're still seeing it extended to six and eight hours and the rest. Okay. Right here, anyway. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank Mr. You for all you miss. Thank you very much. See you. Bye bye. Thank you, Mr. Thank bye bye. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, Alex, you have some final.